What's going on, YouTube? Welcome to another fight card. It is WCFC 11, guys. Right off of the, right off of the top, we have opened three new weight divisions for this universe. Flyweight, bantam, and featherweight are all open, so we need some fighters to fill out those divisions. Get into the description, fill out the Google form, create your fighter, add your fighter to this universe and especially in one of those new divisions, and we can get the new divisions rolling. Hit like, comment, subscribe, show some love, do whatever you want. I either way, enjoy the video. Starting off the fight card tonight, we are in the light heavyweight division. It is the former champion, P.G. Weath, taking on this number seven ranked light heavyweight in the world, Richie Rich. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. All right. Let's do this, baby. Starting off fight card. With the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran No, no Richie Rich. Fight one of the Knights. Matchup of, South of the prelim. PG Richie Rich. Never mind, PG Weath looks dirty. <laughs> Weath, not wealth. Weath, you know? He's poor as fuck, bro. He's poor as fuck. Remember, guys, we're still looking for about 20 plus fighters. Oh, God damn, Richie Rich is getting fucked up already. We have like 62 or like 61 fighters. We still need about 19 more. So if you want to jump in on this or if you want to add a franchise to my MLB The Show franchise, if you want to add a player to that, then fill out the form for that too. Got a couple things you can jump in onto if you would like. How do I become a new bantamweight? X base point WCFC, Mr. Dalton. X base point WCFC. There'll be a Google form that pops up. Complete the Google form. Make your fight right there, baby. There's the Google form. Oh. We're just now filling the bantamweight division. So once it gets full ish, we'll start running bantamweight fights. But it's brand new because we were full. But we got too full, so I had to open up more of And then you can come watch your fighter whenever you want. YouTube, bought it. Whatever you like, my, my guy. This has been very, very fun to do so far. Another kick by Richie. Pause that for now. Hands up. Richie Rich trying some Cirque de, uh, Cirque de Soleil shit. Didn't work. Front kick there from PG. Bo, Bo, do you? No, you don't fight tonight, do you, Bo? You fought on the YouTube card. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, PG's already cut open here. Oh, another head kick from Richie. Oh, that's Sammy's wife and kid. Oh, this kid is a. Five seconds left to round number one. Danger in the engagement there. Just missed with the left there. Big clinch. Watch him shift and try to start getting his punches off. Final seconds here. That was a cool little moment with Sammy. Oh. Round one. There's the horn. The round is over. You see there's a cut above his eye sustained in that round. And now the cut man comes in. He'll have 60 seconds to try to close it up and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, well, the athletes have kept the replay truck busy. To All right. Some, some weird build up with the Sammy thing here. Whatever. All right, round two. All right, round two for here for PG and Richie Rich. PG still has that cut on his forehead. Oh, good left there. Straight left from Richie Rich. Left punch on okay, target. okay, okay. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his what is PG? I don't know, to be honest. 
His his Twitter name is PG Samster. Um, so I actually don't know. Oh, KO. Looks like that one landed. Beautiful body. Kevin Owens is waiting for Sammy. Good defense. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Big knee there. Oh, he's oh. And how much more can he take? Back to his feet. And we got a fight out of him. Let's go. Jesus, Richie Rich. Oh, with authority the body. With authority to the body. Oh, oh DC got really excited for a little baby jab there. Oh. Okay, calm down. Good combination there. Ba ba da ba ba. Da 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 da. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one. A little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. Ooh, we'll see if he kicks can there. With more activity here in round two. He's got to do a little bit better defending here in this round, although you see the face of PG there is kind of fucked up, though. Well, I am not going out on a limb when I say he is on When he's stay away for six hours, it's right. true. <laughs> can you do it? I don't know. Exactly Either way, you're going to watch DeVito lose, so maybe it is better if you just go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? You know? Oh, good elbow, though, from Richie. Oh, let's go. Pedro. Boom. Fella. Minutes to go in round number two. Gosh, it is. If Vito wins, you have to give me 20. I can't, I can't give you points, though. I wish I could, but they literally give us nothing to do for points. I, like I can't see how many points you have. I can't add any. I can't remove any. It's really, it's really crazy. Wow! Fire! Uh, Richie Rich stunned again. EG coming in hot. End of round two. Man, the Brewers kind of made this a game, huh? We pulled out our pitcher early. It's 78 pitches, seven scoreless. Yeah, it's gonna be Probably to keep him fresh. It's early in the season. How he and our bullpen almost closed. Jesus. Jesus. Who closes for us today? <laughs> Just sing along to Sammy's music. <laughs> well, not only is he we we will have Cody Rhodes' music a little strikes, later. He's also been efficient, not just with his strikes. Da ring, Hanara, Goldar. Oh, big left from PG drops Richie Rich on his asshole. Don't wait, don't wait. I need you to go. Go, go, go. The hurt business. What does UFC know about Bobby Lash? Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. See, Richie Rich. That leg continues to be a problem for Rich. PG walking him down. Continues to kick that leg, too. PG. Is finding the weakness and continues to exploit it. Ain't no takedown happening. I bet WrestleMania rings are taking a shit kicking right now with WCFC. I know. Oh, Richie stunned him, knocked him down. Two and a half minutes to go. Richie Rich trying to make a comeback here. Oh, and PG kicks him in the head instead. This could be it if he can't cover up. And that's gonna be it. It is all over. PG we <laughs> with all the blood everywhere. TKOs. Richie Rich. Great way to start the fight card. A straight kick to the side of the temple. Amazing display of finishing ability by the Jumps on him to finish with the ground and pound. Richie Rich has no, no, uh, nothing else to do but cover up. That's not going to be enough to stop the ref from intervening. 
Richie Rich gets knocked out. Oh, we now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 31 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO. Lights out. Well, there he PG is. PG Weave. This dude's going to get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TKO. Oh, he's going to get a massive PG Weave. He heard his TKO. The your count might say five, but by God, the thousands and thousands are watching. I <laughs> do. UCFC is a UCFC eleven is all over the illegal um, sites right now, all the fuck over. Judge scorecard: This was PG's fight. We all knew it. Twenty eighteen on all three scorecards. Round three was kind of headed there. Richie was trying to make a late comeback, but it just wasn't enough. PG with the flush kick followed by the ground to pound starts off. The Knights with a much needed win. <clears throat> to the lightweight division we go here. Fight number two. And it will be the number four ranked Yong Easy Sneaky Park. Yong Soon, I'm sorry. Yong Soon Easy Sneaky Park. Three and six. Taking on still one of our young fighters in this division. Number seven, one and one, Booba time. And now our tail of the I think a little bit. I see my mic moving a little bit. Now for the Barely an inch the veteran voice of the Octagon, for Booba. Burly, burly for Booba. Young Soon with a good kick to start. Bo thinks he can beat me in UFC, but he'd be too drunk to fight me. He would pass out like within one second of the fight. He doesn't have UFC, does he? Jackson Churio K's up. Munoz actually gets a save. One, two, three inning, and the M's win. Good shit. Kind of needed that. Okay, Booba. Okay, Booba. Slips the shot. Oops, slips the kick and throws a little jab as Park. Dude. Nice. I was watching this fight. I bit the inside of my cheek in the same spot three times the past like four days. It's fucking driving me nuts. Same fucking spot. It's driving me batty. Good right there from Booba. Nice land. Great punch. Ooh, good elbow there from Booba. Follow up. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, big shot from Yong Soon. Straight punch. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. The opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Gotta capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Under a minute here. Under a minute now to go in the round. Exploder into the, into the ring. Oh, goes for the Hulover kick, but gets uh, kicked in the head. <laughs> Again, going back to the jab. Just power bomb. Buban Park. Oh, big kick. Big overhand left. Follow bar right. Down goes Park. Buba dropping the ground and pound. But the bell will save Young Soon. Young Soon looks fresh. You look at his face. 
Looks like a freshly born baby still. I don't think there's any cuts or anything on Booba's face either. DJ's already passed out. He has the last six, seven fights, and he's already passed out at number two. Oh, we did the Haluva kick to Sammy. Oh, no. That's unfortunate. Oh, my goodness. Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his Oh, he's going to do it again? Oh, he followed him into his own Haluva kick. You got to move your head. Be active. Don't be reactive in your defenses. Good side kick there from Park. Oh, that one to the face. Great defensive skills. He blocked that punch. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. Okay, 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 okay. On point with that jab today. Who goes for a takedown? Stuffed by Young Soon. Okay, Abuba's still trying to throw hard. Well, he keeps oh, and tries to know Abuba into the big clothesline. Here comes another power bomb from Gunther. Probably now gonna end it. Go the Picks him up again. Oh, nice slip to avoid oh, that right so hand. strong, Jesus. All right, so one, of two. Oh, he kicked out. Thing. He hasn't been rendered a one-legged fighter, but his mobility that has was absolutely it. been compromised. Well, you can check it right now. It's easy to see. You can see that this guy has struggled. You can see that he's very, he's very struggled. hurt these leg kicks. Even checking the kicks now will not help because the damage has been done. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, good combo there from Park. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's yeah. stringing up that left side of Booba's face there. Starting to get a little bit. The same attack more than once. What a job. Starting to get a little bit. Recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Oh. Park just keeps poking and a nice for a takedown, stuffed again by right Young Soon. We're doing goal. a lot of defensive work here. Those hands never not getting hit. Try not to get hit. If you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, the front kick lands on Booba though. Stuns him. Ten left in round two. Easy. Park trying to walk him down. Good kick by Booba. No, a right up cut by Booba as round two comes to a close. <laughs> Going through talking shit to Sammy's family. Third round on the way. So as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other oh, can really take bomb. control Jesus. of what has been a very close fight thus far. Oh, doing a great job here defensively. And you've got to be of sound defensive mind to set up your counter shots. He is certainly feeling it in this round. Checked it. Doing work with the jab. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Drop that high kick. Big body kick. Do we do it? All right, so the commitment to the oh, takedown has to be a come on. After several failed attempts, he finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do. He was on top here. Got plenty of time. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Well, safe to say he's not going to be going back to the hotel room to watch this one. He is completely out of gas now. I mean, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. It looks like he's starting to lose that desire. Oh my God, he's going up for a third time. Take the controller out. Yes. Get rid of him. Who's next? Who, who put their quarter on the table? Sam, Sammy's trying to get up. 
and forth we go. Oh, Yang Soon stuns him again. Booba's still defending himself, though. Oh, another left uppercut stuns Booba again. Booba's in trouble. I think guys both passed out. Yeah, I think Bo, DJ, they both fell asleep. Just misses there with the left. Brain buster on the top of the rope. Oh my god, bro. Are you kidding me? Haluva kick. Under a minute now to go in the Oh my gosh. Under a minute left in this fight. Booba's kicked in the head again. This fight's about to be over. This match is about to be over. Another Haluva kick. Is Gunther finally beaten? He is! Gunther's finally beaten! 20 seconds to go in the fight. He finally loses the Intercontinental belt. <laughs> Big right from Young soon as the horn ends. The Sami Zayn match ends. This ma this fight ends. Go to the scorecards. And Sami Zayn is your new Intercontinental Champion. Dude, that brain buster off the top was fucking insane. Official decision now in the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 30 27, 9 28, 29 28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. Lights out. Well, he did not get the finish. Young Soon Park the gets the unanimous decision. Gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes. It's the unanimous out. decision. A. Hey, you're step one of Team IDK. Y you know, I still need the other two, homie. It's just you right now. Young Soon Park beats Booba Time. 30-27, 29-28, the other two judges. Through the most. Five stuns, which was used. Never knocked down Booba Time, though. That's huge. In any case, the unanimous decision goes to Young Soon Park. We move forward, and for the first time tonight, we will go to the heavyweights, the big boys, the big meaty men slapping each other around. It is number five, Pedro Goonfella, against number eight in the heavyweight division, Seth Nats fan. Now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Same inch, uh, same reach, same height. Very, very even between these two. Can't afford him. <laughs> two big heavyweights. What can we do here? What are you doing here? Uh, hello, guys? Nope. They thought about it. They thought about it. But then they decided to not throw a punch. <laughs> they both fake like, ah, you, uh, no, I got you. There we go. And now it feels like mirrors are better. Nine games into the season, man. Nine games in. <clears throat> the Pirates sure are not 7-2, so... Law of averages, everything will average out. And he connects there. Do 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 oh, Ooh, head kick there from Goonfella. Uh, oh, a little body kick from short time. Now now these guys are starting to throw a little bit. Oh, misses with the jab. Are we doing the Hall of Fame intros here? 
<clears throat> you are saying the Yankees won't win 160. I'm saying the Marlins won't lose 160. Stuffs that take down a little bit. Oh, good head kick there from Seth. Oh, another uppercut there from Seth, followed by another one. And Goonfellow gets stunned. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put the gas. Good right there from Goon. Under a minute to go. 72,543 people are WrestleMania night number one. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. Tomorrow night, I think, will be better. And do a work with the jabs. Ooh, Seth with some good combinations here. Nice leg kick. George Kittle. Round one. Wale. Goon's face looks pretty fresh for getting hit around a little bit. That's good. That's good. Drewski. Whoa. Whoever is with Drewski is so fucking high right now. His eyes. Oh, my God, dude. Holy shit. Whoever was just with Drewski, his eyes were just fucking red. So fucking high. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Jesus Christ. Ugly ass first? Agreed. Straight right. I can't believe they finally took the title off Gunther. His cardio is so good. When his opponent is done in two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. Got a kick there from Goon. Went in but defended. Six man street fight tomorrow. Another good kick there from Goon as Seth's coming in. Good uppercut there. Goon's trying to methodically throw a little bit. Caught that, oh, caught that body kick, but he threw a big uppercut. That stunned Seth for a second. Goon is doing a better job at kicking or at picking and choosing his shots, defending and countering. Checks that leg kick. Overhand right lands, but doesn't land flush from, from Goon. Okay. Both men trading here. Nice block. Let's get that takedown and win the round, says Coach. Yet yeah, nothing. Neither of these guys do takedown, but okay, sir. Wheel kick to the back there. Seth tried to the takedown, didn't work. Didn't work. He's doing a great job of recognizing that that's something that he can land, and he has landed in effect. They both kick each other again. Under a minute now to go. Ooh, straight right, followed by a left ever cut from Goon, followed by a knee, stuns him again. Goon continuing to be the one to push the action here in round number two. He missed with that jab attempt there. Right hand on the counter. Straight right. And he's looking for that left hand just missed. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Oh, big overhand right there from Nats fan. 
Oh, looking to land the leg kick, oh. but on Round two to is over. Up. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and that is one of the best five-minute stands as you will ever see from a fighter. Rocked him multiple times, unable to get him out of there, but came pretty darn close. He did come close to finishing the fight, but he didn't get it done. Now... So here we go, five <laughs> minutes remain in the fight. That WrestleMania kickoff was really, really, really fun. Goon stuns him immediately, pushes him back again, oh, stuns him again. Matt's fan is in deep, deep trouble. Throws a good right there to stop the forward momentum of Goon. But Pedro Goonfella is the one pushing all the action here in round three. Throwing, doing a good job slipping. Okay, a little jab there from Nats fan. Goon's punch in the air, 10 feet away. That's good. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, big uppercut again. And Nats fan is still stunned. Another attempt to take down didn't work. Vlad comment saying the Yankees are easy to beat the Nage well. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Down. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this coming up on two and a half on, minutes left through round number three. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, oh big right though from Nats fan stuns Goon. <clears throat> Goon going the opposite way. Oh, well, the cap kick has been a priority, and now his opponent is bruised in that area. It's all in the game plan, John. They had a game plan to come out there and beat that lead leg up, and that's exactly what he's doing. Little right, late in the fight Dick now. He needs Syndrome. To or he's going to lose this fight tonight. <laughs> I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. I love there it. Is no more hey, DJ's still awake. Let's go. He made it. Well, you made it halfway so far, buddy. <laughs> you, you've, you've, uh, you've made it so far. No, good right there from Goon. Nats fans cut open. Under this, uh, this is fight three, homie. It's been an hour. You knew, you knew what this was, DJ. You knew what this was. Takedown from Nats fan. Only 30 seconds to go, though. Probably nothing will come of it. Oh, good drop. Good elbow, though. Back in the full guard. Back on their feet. Big right misses from Nats fan. And the horn. This is the farthest I've ever made it. You got to get better, though. You, you got to get better and stay up later. <laughs> oh, Jesus. In the entire UFC. He did everything so well. And in my we will opinion, go to the scorecards. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffett. Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-28. The winner by unanimous and Miss decision. decision. Right, nice job by him there. Seth Nats gets to the unanimous decision. Oh my god. The UD goes to Seth Nats fan. I have no idea what these numbers uh, look like. So we're about to find out what the numbers are like. Uh, judges scorecard. All of them game set the first two rounds and gave Goon round number three. Round one was absolutely Nats fan. More strikes landed, got the stun. Round one was definitely Nats fan. Round two was 100% Goonfella. Got the two stuns, more strikes. 
round two was somehow given to Seth Nats fan when it should have been Pedro Goonfella. Round three was Goon because of the four. About to blow, waited for me to start the show. That was a good whoa. That was a good whoa. But the judges make a controversial decision. Round two goes the way of the incorrect fighter. And because of that, the unanimous decision goes to Nats fan. Goonfellas protesting as he should. But the win goes to Seth Nats fan. For the first time tonight, we go to the middleweight division. And for the first time in WCFC history, this man is not at the top of the fight card or have a championship around his waist. Losing his title last week to easy to great number one ranked middleweight, 11 and one, Homer Simpson. Battles number eight, Fiery Gaming. Our tail of the tape for this much. Tail of the tape, Homer with five shot. inches of height and reach. He is going to be pissed off. I feel bad for Fiery Gaming. His first loss last week. He is not going to be happy. Yeah, I don't care who wins this. Because um, all it does is change the stipulation. I, I think Cody will lose. Cody and Seth will lose because it makes tomorrow even crazier. It makes Cody have to go through more. And Homer gets knocked down from Fiery? What is happening? Fiery on top of Homer? Oh my goodness. But there's Homer in rubber guard. And about ready to flip him over. There it is. You saw the momentum. Flipped him over. And now he's dropping bombs on Fiery, which is not good for Fiery Game. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning. But it can change in a matter of seconds. Alright, side control into north and south. Fiery trying to get on his feet. Not quite yet. He can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound for such a dominant position. Flips him over, oh, well, trying to do rear naked. He's, he's, he's trying to get the rear naked. Homer trying to end this fight early. But Fiery reverses it and rolls over, and he's back in control. And he's opened up Homer, the former champion. Fiery is not intimidated at all. And another reversal. These two on the ground is intense right now. Got the ground and pound going now. <laughs> that might be so funny. I don't care what anybody says. And another reversal. Good lord. Fiery knows this is his chance. Fiery knows this is his chance. Because to me personally, and I'm no jujitsu expert, to me personally, it feels like this is a position Pepe. to really just slow everything down. Are there hey, Pepe. Yes. Homer, in this again. Is to slow you down from damage. They just keep it rotating really just it. make you feel more in danger than you really are. Takes his back. Really Dude, is the Rock going to wrestle in pants? He fucking better not. There's no way. There's no he's way. Now. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full 30 round. seconds left. Oh, he locks up the Always locking up the triangle, trying to finish out Fiery Gaming. He's, he's trying to. 20 seconds left. And, he will definitely get the and he, instead, he ends his pursuit. Round one down here. And round one Nicely will come to a close. With an extra string first round. All right, that's the end of the round. Clearly a cut sustained there on his forehead, courtesy of that strike. So the cut man will have to close that up and try to prevent it from becoming an issue here as this fight moves forward. All right, back to the stools between rounds. That gives us time to look back at some. Cody. Round. All right, second round underway. 
Round two starts here. Good head kick and fire. You see that, that cut for Homer could be a problem. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. He's got that single collar tie. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, tries for the heel hook takedown and gets it. Heel hook, knee bar, Fiery doesn't have it. He reverses for the 97th time. Look at Roman Sychik. Who? Is that Bodog? Is that Bodog standing next to Roman Reigns? Three minutes now to go in round two. The <laughs> Rock. I thought you meant Paul Heyman. Man, is he landing a high volume of strikes here in round two? Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Stuffs mm -hmm. the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, oh the back spinning kick lands flush on Fiery's head. Oh, this could just about do it. Those entrances took 20 minutes, by the way. So, so this, I have a feeling. Oh no, Solo's gonna be a part of this. He always will. This is a face versus a heel fight. There's a reason why Solo didn't come out with him because he's gonna play a part. Right. It's gonna happen. Leg kick by Fiery and stuns Homer Simpson. Fiery is putting it to Homer right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's kind of not what I expected. Another kick stuns Homer again. Oh my gosh, Homer's in a little bit of trouble. Good takedown defense. Head kick from, from Homer there. And look at Homer all cut up there. Top left. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned Oh, look at that huge kick there from Homer. That was beautiful. Third round underway. Third and final round. Fiery kicks him right in that spot again, which stuns him. Not the biggest kick, but he hit him in his vulnerable spot, so it stunned him. Well, he continues to manage distance beautifully and take advantage of that edge and reach. Nice and Fiery stuffs, stuffs the takedown. Take so Homer, I think, take needs to get a, a, and a knee stuns Homer again. I think Homer need, needs to get a finish here. Oh my God, Fiery drops Homer. Fires in full, Fiery's in full mount. Trying to knock out the former champion. Homer will not allow it to happen though as he rolls out of it, but cannot reverse it. Homer is bleeding, in trouble, and Fiery is on the ground and in control. Lands with the ground and pound. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. All right, he continues to reversal from Homer. Here, really him on the Trying to get a finish here, but gets out of it. Gives it up. Goes in the side control. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and 
Neither seems to bother Two and a half Bayer, minutes. Homer, I think, is losing this fight. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Oh, he rolls and fire. He's back in control. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Whoa. About two minutes here to go in round three. Weird. Weird. Under two minutes. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block. Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Homer might be in trouble here. He's trying to reverse it, and he's able to. I just want to see all the Roman fans cry. They will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of the side control. Less than a minute now to go in the round. Homer's on top. He, this is not enough for him. He needs to get a finish here. Oh, he's trying for it. There's the arm bar. Can he get the arm bar and get the last minute win? Snatch. Snatch victory from Fiery's hands. There it is. And that's probably going to be it. No, Fiery gets out of it. I was sure that Fiery was going to tap there. But instead, Fiery is going to survive. And we are going to go to the judges' scorecards. Oh, my gosh. Has Homer Simpson lost his second straight? Fiery can never be as good as me. All right, the official decision Here we go. is now in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 30-27, ferocious. Split? Judge two scores it, 9-28, shotgun. And judge three scores it, 9-28, for the winner by split decision, ferocious! Fiery Gaming has pulled the giant upset. And Homer Simpson lost his title that last week and has lost again tonight. Fiery Gaming gets the split decision. Which is crazy to me, by the way. That somebody gave this 29-28 for Homer. You see Judge 2 there. That's insane. These judges are on one tonight. Round 1 might have been Homer. That's fine. Maybe. Maybe. Round 2 definitely was not Homer. And round 3 was not Homer. So, two rounds to Homer is crazy. But it is irrelevant. Fiery Gaming follows easy to great with a huge upset victory. And Homer Simpson has started 11-0. He has now lost two straight fights. Still nine fights left. And I believe we go now to the light heavyweight division again tonight. And it is the number one ranked light heavyweight uh, James Mags. And on the other side of the octagon, number eight, reeling with through five straight losses, Robert Jones. And now our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. <coughs> three inches of reach, three inches of height. All right, now to get us started here. For Mr. Jones. And we are underway. And we are underway. Underway we are. Okay, James Mags. Eats a couple shots there. Go to the left there from Mr. Jones. Trying not to lose his sixth straight fight. Okay. Start to this fight about a minute in. Not much action on either side. Is that a feeling out process? What do you see? John, you just woke me up. I wonder what the conclusion of this fight's going to be. Yeah. <laughs> 
Take down from James Maggs. He's on top. Did that get you out of your seat? Beautifully done by him there. Oh, man. I jumped up and down. Robert Jones with a reversal, though. He's on top where he likes to be. You don't see single legs this good unless you're watching a real high-level wrestling. Just an empty bottle of prime. Oh, it's not, it's not empty, I guess. Beautiful ground strike landed. Robert Jones dropping bombs. Pause? Uh, pause what? And another, huh? Another strike for what do you mean, good Lance. sir? What do you mean? Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with da -da. Da -da. On top, yep, on top where he likes to be, baby. Robert Jones loves being on top. Oh, James Max flips it over, trying to get an early submission victory. But it's not there as Robert Jones is able to get out of it. Making all these shots count. People like to be on top, you know? It's okay, Super Four. Not everyone can be at really top. Nice Some people have to be a bottom. For there to be a top, there must be a bottom, you know? They're leaving the ring. All, right, half guard all four of them, Jesus. Robert Jones having a pretty good round one here. Much needed after a five straight. Able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking goals. Build your posture, but James reverses it, takes his back. Nothing's gonna happen from this position, it never does. Rotates it into full guard. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight right now, John. You're trying to arm bar. Can he survive it? He does. Robert Jones survives the submission. And he will be able to end round one. Still in it. James Mag looks looks fresh though. He looks so fresh and so clean. Check out some of the action from that previous round. Do 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 do. Wolf right now. We're getting there. Break it off. Where we at? Fight five. You, you can do it, DJ. I promise. <laughs> He's like hoping and praying that he can just go to sleep. Oh, I love it. Stay the fuck awake. It's Friday night, bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. If Bo can do it, I believe in you. Robert Jones getting messed up here. Why are you freaking out? It's just water, bro. He's really doing a nice job with his head moving here defensively on the ground to avoid further punishment. James Max still throwing. What can I do? Well, he, you don't want me to answer that. Alright, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this. Max has so much time to be on top here though. So much time. That was nice. Oh, to the mouth. Oh, he's pulled out. Yeah, there's like 20 minutes left left in this match. Good brawl fart. Yeah. You could tell. You could tell they needed to make time. Oh, he's going for a triangle. Mag's going for another. Another submission. But he's not able to get it. And Robert Jones takes some control. Yeah, you could tell they needed to get some time of this fight. Like they needed to uh, draw this fight out. And so that's why they split him. Split him up. And now Rollins is pretending like he tore his ACL. Yeah. Please KO him. <laughs> and Herb Dean's having him stand up. Tired of that. Oh, 
Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes. Kirby, you piece of shit. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace <laughs> Every fight's going to go the distance. Oh, a huge wheel kick from Mags, even though he's on the ground. Gets back to his feet. Lands pretty well. Big uppercut. Over Jones with a takedown of his own. Rotate it, but that's going to be the end of round number two. Which thing is capable? True. It didn't take too long, though. Just keep, they just keep hitting the left arrow to the right and keep hitting A. Responses don't matter. It's, it, and it's only three questions. Round three. DJ Moore is loving all these fights going to decision. It's, this is what he was hoping for at the beginning of the card. Oh, he's going for the guillotine. Robert Jones is going for a takedown. James Max ha has the guillotine in tight, and he has to tap out. Robert Jones goes for a takedown, but J Mags grabs the neck and will not let go. And it is in tight. He leans back. And Robert Jones has to tap out. The first submission of the night goes to James Mags. Anything happen if you pick the worst response? Let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Huge. This guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled. He's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web Stop talking, Cormier. that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for tonight. Good Lord. That's a submission victory. Let's go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 23 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out, Mountain. Mountain. James Mags gets the submission victory, and Robert Jones has dropped six fights in a row. He did have James did have both rounds, though, so the fight was his regardless. But instead, in going to the judges, he just gets the tap out instead. Big win for James Mags as the number one lightweight. He will stay near the top of the rankings. The prelim card main event. You look at the records and you think to yourself, why is this the main event? <laughs> if you know, you know. The worst two fighters, not only in the league, but in the welterweight division. Number eight, Antion Roussel. Number nine, Chuck Norris. Somebody is going to be one and nine. Our tale of the tape for this Paris, France, flight. Columbus, Ohio. Two inches of height, two inches of reach. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the for Chuck Norris. All right, the wait is over. We are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in the Las The MGM Vegas. Grand. Oh, nicely done as he blocks the shot and delivers that straight counter. One more, DJ. One more. Can, can you make it? That's the question. Let's go, Chuck. Left hook to the head. As long as it's a good fight, man. As long as both these guys actually throw, then I'll. I'll be All right, happy. So one you minute know? into this fight and not much to dissect in terms of action. You may need to go use the restroom. You might, might be a good time. John, is it time? <laughs> Concession <break. laughs> You might need to go use the restroom? Damn, dude, no chill at all. Throwing that jab, no good. <laughs> okay, technique, calm down. Clean execution on that leg kick. Another leg kick lands. Another leg kick lands. Try to establish that jab. Defense league. Keep your hands up. Okay. Use your Under three minutes Get to go. Get your hands up. Oh, the kick landed. Kick landed. Nice. Another kick landed. Nice body kick. I want a first round knockout. I want a first round something. Come on. 
Come on. You better check. That leg's getting beat up. Somebody get some shit out here. Get Meant to go. Nothing of real consequence so far. Back to the hook now. And everything's landing with so much power. So much power. Strong work with the inside leg kick. Both these fighters are afraid to lose. Ten seconds Look to at them just the chill. Line. They're just chilling because they're up. Oh, Chuck Norris is not afraid. Good combination there. Stuns Roussel. And that's going to be the end of round one. He got stunned by a massive shot just before the end of the round. So now he goes back to the stool. Wobbly a little There's still about 10 minutes left in, in this match. For WrestleMania night one. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we... It should be pretty good timing. The end of the prelim card for us should be the end of WrestleMania. Which is nice. Let me get focus a little more. Oh, big right from Roussel to start the round. <laughs> oh, he just slapped him in the face. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing it. Oh, good kick there. Good kick from Mexinet from Chuck Norris. But Roussel reverses it. Spins in into control himself. Nice positional control here. Roussel dropping bombs. Big elbow lands. Making all these shots count. Back to their feet. Big right from Roussel. Oh, big kick from Roussel. Chuck Norris is in trouble. But they seem to be back square. Momentum is Roussel's, though. Good uppercut there from Chuck Norris. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook. Oh! oh. Now Roussel is stunned. These two fighters. It's been a crazy fight. They were fighting not to lose in round one. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Head off the center line. Slips the punch. I'll try not to... Uh, Go too well, crazy really when there's an end to this match. I know, I, 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 you guys are a little bit behind. Or behind found so. his striking range. Scary proposition. Jumpy kick misses just out of range. Roussel Matrix is it. Oh, big overhand right from Roussel. Stuns Chuck, Chuck Norris again. Just continues to throw. Less than a minute now to go in round two. Now some separation oh, from this position. Oh, we strike right to the midsection there. Grabs the kick. Oh, nice little right hook there. Oh, nice. Slips the Speaking of Superman punch, Russell tries one misses. But he is still throwing. And round two will come to an end. DJ Moore, you doing okay? 
We got like one round left. We got like a round to go. And then I'll wait about 10 minutes before I put on our fight. Ooh, ah. Round three. Third round underway. Do you believe this next round is underway in the previous round? Both fighters got rocked. I can just make our fight the main event of the whole entire night, right? These are the types of fights that makes it so fun to sit right next to the octagon and call the action. Wow. Okay. Beautiful leg. He gave him the dick, I saw it. Oh, big right from Rousseau. Drops Chuck Norris again. But Rousseau. Oh, and then a wheel kick. Lands on Russo and stuns him. These two. Holy shit. Oh my gosh, these two. What a fight. Just hit him already. Dude, they're beating the hell out of each other. This is actually crazy. So many power punches being thrown. <laughs> Paul Heyman. Trying to establish that jab once again. Ooh. That's out of the kick again. Right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Under three minutes to go here in our third and final round. Down he goes again. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys oh, wow. have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. He gets the single collar by look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. About right. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the huge cuts the for both of them. That was it, 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 interesting in this match just now. Side kick. About a minute to go. Oh, Roussel drops him again. Now dropping bombs. But he can't finish them, but they're back on their feet. No. Oh, there's the left! Finally, Antion Roussel puts him away. Towards the end of round three, Roussel gets his just rewards and knocks out Chuck Norris. After a right, throws the left cross, and it lands. Roussel exacts his revenge on Chuck Norris and gets the win. The decision is inside the octagon. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 33 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Hold on. And to Yon Roussel gets the win. Scorecards, I think it's going to show kind of what we thought. 50-50, round three was going Roussel's way, so it probably would have been his fight anyways. Regardless, though, regardless, Antion Roussel exacts his revenge, gets the win. Chuck Norris drops to one and nine. To the main event. God, main event. Main card we go for WCFC 11. And it is in the lightweight division. It is my fighter, your future champion, your future WCFC Hall of Famer, Jameson Stevenson. 
going up against the number one ranked lightweight in the world, Danny DeVito. Come on, Jameson, let's do this. this He's got the inches. Look at all those inches. Here Eight in inches of reach. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is... <laughs> you know what the eight inches is. Danny DeVito will fuck you and Oregon. Holy shit. Come on, Jameson. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Danny DeVito. It's 500 at that. Bro, 5 6 versus 6 1. What the fuck is this? Hey, man. You decided to make Danny short. That's not my problem. That's the end of the stream, folks. We're going to go right in. Anyone sleeping spam the emotes. Good night, everyone. Good overcut from DeVito there. I have to, like, punch down to hit you in the head, bro. This is crazy. Good uppercut. Oh, come on. Crazy how that's DeVito's physique in real life, too. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. Spear! Spear! Spear from DeVito! Last double is the last. Dropping bombs. All right, Jameson's able to get out of it. Don't fucking tap me out, you son of a bitch. Fuck you, DeVito. <laughs> on this day. It's not clearly. Da 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 da. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. You think you know me? Da 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 da. Do 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 do. Hey, Danny, stop riding my ass, bitch. Yeah, yeah, get the fuck off of you, short stack. Yeah, 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 take that. Come on, Jameson. You're bigger, taller, faster, stronger, and you have a bigger dick. Show him. And you have more hair. You're you're just a thousand percent better than this. Get him, Danny. You up my ass. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This isn't a handicap match. This isn't a handicap match. This is bullshit. No outside interference here. Come on, Jameson. Land some shit. Fuck. Stays on his feet. Stays on his feet. Good shit. This dude looks like the Jamaican cinnamon dude from Apple <laughs> Hey, man. Leave leave my 70. Oh, the jumping knee. Fuck you, DeVito. Hey, hey, you leave me and my 74 head alone, okay? Floyd Mayweather from McGregor 2. Jameson with a takedown. Let's go with a minute to go in round number one. Don't let him fucking work. God damn it, you 6 1 piece of shit. You didn't have to jump? I'm saying. I'm saying, baby. No, don't DR choke me. No, fuck you. No way. You substitute, you submitting motherfucker. Get out of it, you bitch. Get out of it. Get out of it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. 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 Uh, uh, Jameson's got the heart of a champion. You can't deny him. You can't deny the heart, the heart of a fucking champion. You piece of shit. <laughs> All right. That round better go, Danny. No, no, no. That was my round, man. I, I got stuns and knockdowns. You didn't do shit with your shit with your control. The judges are on my side. They like taller people anyway, so you're fucked. Yeah, good, good bombs from Jameson. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Nice, Sammy. Oh, Sammy with the raid. I appreciate you, Sammy. Sammy, finish the story. Rhodes with the raid. I appreciate you. How was your stream, my guy? I'm assuming you watched WrestleMania at the same time. Oh, big. God is this. Fuck this small dude in the asshole. Come on, Jameson. I still believe in Mr. Rhodes. Let's go, Sammy. No, not move. No, it's move, bro. Sammy, I appreciate you. 
Thanks for the sub, buddy. 49 months. I greatly, greatly appreciate you. Hashtag finish the story. I still believe. I think they'll be okay. I think they had to do that tonight. If you have Cody win that, then he goes in with too much, too much momentum. You know, like, like you have to put his back against the wall. I think that's the only way to book that. It's gonna make me have a stroke, overstimulated. <laughs> Moo! It's okay, DJ. Moo! <laughs> oh, Jameson just dominating. Oh, he's got Danny Vito. Oh, beat his ass. Beat his ass. Get a stoppage. Get me my third straight win and get me a title shot. Wouldn't be fun if there wasn't adversity, right? The way of the wrestling world faces can't have to. Yeah, exactly. There's. I just didn't see any way that Cody and Seth wins that fight. Or that match. Stop him. Stop him. Let's go. Let's go. The huge stoppage. Jameson Stevenson has TKO'd Danny Fuckface DeVito. As advertised, baby. Jameson Stevenson. Uh, huge. The TKO win. He's won his third straight. Jameson is a goddamn animal. You can't stop him. Danny, you short fuck. Get out of my octagon. <laughs> Unsubbed. <laughs> All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 34 seconds. Unscathed. The winner by TKO, Jameson Stevenson. Huge win. Get the short, bald, fat fuck out of my out of my octagon. He doesn't deserve to be here. Jameson Stevenson gets a TKO. Jenny Talia needs to make his debut. <laughs> 61 strikes 34 is significant the judges gave did give danny devito round one that's a bunch of horse cock the winner by tko brandon hey man he never responded to me by the way I, i'm disappointed I, i'm disappointed but stevenson gets the win that will be his third straight win and puts him in line for most likely the next title fight Adam Bo, I'm calling your bitch ass out. All right, to light heavyweight, we go for the third time tonight. And it is going to be two fighters right at 500. Number two, Kevin the Caveman Shepherd against number five, Kyle Hart. Okay. Our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. The Caveman, an inch of height, an inch of reach against Mr. Kyle Hart. Kyle Hart had his championship opportunity last week and lost it. We are back for more, ready to go with live action underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Yeah, there's no, there's no Grant tonight. There's no sorted. Bo disappeared. Man, man, oh man. I'm here. Oh, there's Bo. Bo, I just called your ass out. Because I'm a good mod. Don't lie to the people now. Bo, I just called your ass out. I, I just won my fight, which means I want that title. I just called your ass out. But you know what? Like the bitch you are, you didn't respond. Because you weren't here. Because you weren't responding, so... I hear you say anything. It's okay. What's <laughs> up? Hey, it's okay, Danny. You must be this tall to beat me in a fight. <laughs> You're not. So it's fine. <laughs> We're gonna stop that. Kevin gets knocked in the head. Oh, go Jesus Christ! The uppercut's out of the clinch. Fucking hell. Go! Oh! I will have to go three and zero on your candy ass. Nope, I'm taking that title next next Friday. 
I'm taking this title next Friday. Dude, where is Team IDK by? By the way, there is no Team IDK. I do not know where Team IDK is. Oh, that jab all over his opponent. He's got to start kicking, kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. Nice shot. Lance I'm Team Bo there. now. Wow. Hey, man, I, I mean, if you can't beat me, you got to root against me, right? That's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Wow. It was good night if that landed. I see it, I see it, I see it. Won't be famous is next. Oh, man, I think Grant might good. be sick. Uh, he said he was sick yesterday. Yeah, so that's definitely could still be a possibility. Still could be a possibility. A jab there from Hart. My guy's 40 years older than your guy. <laughs> well, sounds like a personal problem. I'm still two and up. Those are exhibition fights, you fuck. It doesn't count. This is for the title. This is for the title, and I'm gonna take it from you, you Walker having fucking. Ass. Okay. That's all you need to know. Accept it. Love it. it, it, it it's fine. It's fine. All right. Round two. All right, next round is now Attempts a Superman team. punch right off the bat. He stops it. He doesn't allow it. He wanted to open a can of whoop ass on me, but I didn't let him. Even though it was crazy, you got to see high level mixed martial arts. Ooh. Right hand there from Caveman. On a winning streak. Well, yeah, no shit. You have the belt, you dummy. Well, you're on a four fight streak. I've won four of my last fight. I'm about to whoop your ass, bro. I'm whoop your ass. I'm on. I'm going to dominate that ass. I'm going to do all things to that ass. I'll give you a crossroads. That's not how you spell it, though. It's a pun for his last name. Come on. Come on. Do it right. Do it right. And he lost. So that means you're you're going to lose. So it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine. Don't worry, bro. Just accept your fate and accept your future. Kyle Hart tries to take down Kevin Shepard. Does not work. Separation. We team Rhodes. You always win. Uh, except for tonight, yeah. Clipped him with the right hand there. <laughs> oh, nice job okay. to block the kick. Kahar doing a good job of defending here. Two minutes left in round number two. That's because the rock was a bitch. Said, yeah, said the ref would get fired. <laughs> oh, big overhand right. Drops Kyle Hart. And he's cut open on the left side of that forehead now. Blood will be dripping and dripping. And dripping into that eyeball. Look, he's the boss. He is. He's the final boss, bro. What the fuck are you paying attention? Another kick. Drops Kyle again. Kevin Shepard backs up. He wants to stay on the feet. Just misses with that one. Well, you don't want to take two. Triple H is the boss. Nope. He isn't the final one, though. Those went spaced in and out. <laughs> Six or four. That's his whole life. Well, it's been spacing and now since the second Just move. Range strike. We all know this. He gets a time. Well, yes. He See? Gets it's, it's, that's, yes. <laughs> that's it. Oh, shit. I, I didn't get high. Bro, Bo, if you got high, you wouldn't be able to so, like, right, so Shepard with the knockdown. It's going to end round two. Like, you wouldn't even be able to function, dude. At, uh, under any circumstance. We'll see to what he can I fall recover. asleep. I mean, more than you already do. 
Alright, so there's the horn. He got knocked. Holy out. shit, the Sounders have two goals. Raul Rui Diaz. Go get second hand high because all his friends are stone as fuck. Alright, so here we go. The crowd Makes on sense. its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw the UConn round, beats Alabama. And look. We like Cinderella's, we like upsets, but I'm telling you that both of these championships are going to be two amazing games. Purdue and UConn, Iowa and South Carolina. Those are the teams that should be there. So, all the upsets, the teams that should be there are in both championships. The jumping kick from Kyle Hart. And both those games should be amazing. My RL friends don't smoke. They just smoke the cancer sticks. That's smoking. Ba, ba, da, 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 da. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Third and... I mean, getting high like the well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. Sir. This is a Serbo. Enjoy your last uh, week as the champion, buddy. Enjoy it. To the left hand now. Enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to take your title on Friday, and I'm going to Oregon to watch UFC 300 on Saturday. It's, it's, it's going to be a good weekend. If I win, you gotta buy me. I would never buy you something that terrible. Why would I? Why would I want to allow you to do such? Good left there from Caveman. I don't think Caveman's bleeding at all. I think his head's a little bit, but. Guys, I'm not. Oh. You're the one that does the least mod duties here. Good answer. Cuz. Uh, <laughs> my name's Adam. That's why. <laughs> Good blocks. He's able to get a cook through. A Superman punch lands, though. Shout out. Now you shout out, Sammy. Jesus. The Sammy rated us 20 minutes ago. Sule now. The sword is just for aesthetics, anyways. For Bo, it is. 10 seconds left. Front kick. Stuns him. Hey, what's up, Toxic? How are you, dude? And we're going to go to the judges' scorecard. I'm 20 minutes delay, like Peacock. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. We go to the scorecard. Oh, fuck. I'm good. How are you? Tired, apparently. And I literally did nothing today, which is probably why I'm tired, because I've been lazy all day. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 29-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, the Cannon. 29 28 for Kevin Shepard. He gets the win over Kyle Hart. Big win for him to get him back above 500. You're probably tired because you root for Roman instead of Cody. That's not true. I will when you pay me. Yeah, pay, pay 604 to get his change. But you also have to change your name to what did we come up with? Forgot what we came up with. Caveman gets rounds two and three. We look at the overalls. Pretty even. Four knockdowns compared to five total. Uh, yeah, that was a really, really close fight. Really, really close fight. Kevin mm -hmm. Shepard gets the unanimous decision, though. And he has won for five of his last seven. Five fights to go. We go to the middleweight division, I believe, for the second time tonight. It is the first fight of Team IDK. It is number four, Tony Cummings, against the bottom of the middleweight division. Number nine, Haruo WBF. 
develop the tape for this middleweight fight. Three inches of height and reach right, for the or W B F. Tony Cummins looking to get on the positive side of 500. After starting out pretty well, he has lost three of his last four. We got slammed hard with snow Tuesday, Wednesday, and I'm bored. I ride, so I wait for clean roads. Fuck snow. Yo. Well, why do you hate snow? Snow is beautiful in my dress. Wonderful. Amazing. And I would fuck it if I could. How dare you. His line's also... I don't know. Jesus fight is a lot more active than last fight. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. WBF already has him knocked down. Okay, okay, okay. No, Lions fan lives in Wisconsin. <laughs> You're in that northern section still. Hughes left. His name should be Come Best. Dude, true. True. I'm so mad. Or I won't say I'm mad. I'm disappointed that he, he never responded to me on Twitter. Maybe he's not on Twitter very often. But... Come best is the greatest name ever, and I want to be his friend. I want to be his friend. But, alas. Knees out of the clinch. For WBF on the right side of your screen. He, he, I think he's inactive. No, you're probably, you're probably right. I, I, I'm still bummed, though. I'm still bummed, you know? WBF did get his first win last week, trying to get on what we call a winning streak. Punches in bunches as he lands another combination. Punches in bunches. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just right in WBF. Great job finding different places for strikes to land. Left hook. Back to the jab now. No good. No good. We ain't kicking field goals here. Tuesday, Tuesday. Other oh, left. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Yep, they're trading off, John Anik. They're trading off. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side. I can't believe Homer lost again. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start that up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Starting to show himself. Underwhelming night one. I think it was okay. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. No real surprises. No real big, like big, huge things. Just some solid matches. I think the Gunther and Timmy Zayn match was really fucking good. It was really good. WBF is stunned at the end of round one. Jay and Jimmy should have been better. The thing is, though, they can't wrestle better. Like, that's what that's what they do. They have, like, three moves. So when they when they were signed up to go singles and then they wrestled each other, man, they just... I knew... I didn't expect that match to be good, the actual match, because they can't... They just don't have a well-rounded skill set with actual wrestling. The charisma's great. They can do all that. But what up, T-Dizzle? Team IDK has been pretty at absent tonight. You got to get your boys. Get your boys in here because you're the first fight of the night. The other two are coming up. Coming stuns WBF there with a good kick. You're here just in time, brother. Just in time, brother. Hey, there's Team IDK number two. Where's the third one? Round it out. Round it out. That's two of three. We got to go three for three. That jab Straight right from WBF. He's got a good leg kick. There it is. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I was watching Manny and Hack traveling. Got you. Yeah, we were watching Manny too. Hack Tech's traveling. Oh no. Smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. He's actually next too. He is next. Slips that left hand. Okay, both these guys are trying to punch the air. That's good. 
Well, his That's good. Pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has on vacate. Vacation is overrated. No one needs vacation. Round. What the fuck is this vacation shit? Oh. What is this vacation shit? Oh, is that a big knee? The body will see if he can follow up. Good knee there. Oh, right side. Da -da -da Strong straight left there. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Win the round. Oh, got him again. I heard it. He got him again. Punch got blocked there. Come on now. Come on now. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Less than a minute to go in the round. Punch him in the dick. Wait, what? Another good right there from Cummins. Oh, WPF catches him with a straight right. That stuns him, though. Oh, but he catches one back. Another Superman punch. Oh, and a right cross. That drops WPF. <laughs> and it is all over. A knockout seemingly out of nowhere for Tony Cummins. And T. Dizzle. What a performance. The right cross coming as WBF was trying to throw the punch. And it is lights out for Won't Be Famous. Tony Cummins starts off Team IDK the right way. Here is Bruce Buffer. We send it in there now to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes. 28 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by... Knockout! Rusher! Tony Cummins! No smile off tonight. The celebration is on. Big win for Tony. He needed that. Coming off two straight losses. Needed to get back into the win column and does it through WBF. The judges did give WBF the first round, though, so he, he had to come back. And he did adjust that in round two with that right cross. Landed flush. Knights, Knights, WBF. Tony Cummins and Team IDK 1 0 on the night. Team IDK goes 1 0. We'll stay in the middleweight division and see if IDK can go 2 0. Hack attack. Number two. Six and five overall, trying to keep the team undefeated on the week. But to do that, he must go through the number three ranked middleweights, Lucas Kovacic. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. The 41 year old Kovacic, he's given up five inches all around to hack attack height, weight, dick, balls, everything. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight five inches. I think the problem is I've won once. I'm back from Mexico. Expedia, what you got? What you got for me? Yeah. You brought some, some shit back. Is what it did. Kovacic on the right. Team IDK and Hack Attack on the left. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. T Dizzle and Eno Zoner here to cheer on his teammates, but it's not working. Hack Attack seems to be on vacation outside and inside the ring. As Kovacic stuns and throwing some hard bombs here. The back punch, goddamn, right? Unable to land with that punch. Okay. Didn't land flush because he moved out of the way here. Nice body kick there. Da -da 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 -da. I gotta do this tonight. I mean, it took the, what it felt like forever for me and Nats fan to throw a punch. Yeah, Trying true. To hammer that lead leg. True, true. Just over three minutes to go. <laughs> three minutes left in round number one. Guys, just a reminder, if anybody is here in chat or watching on YouTube that wants to be part of this universe, all you have to do is click on the Google form 
That's either in the description or right there in Twitch chat. Complete the Google form and your fighter can be in this universe. And you can watch them get their ass kicked or kick ass themselves. Nothing you have to do ever except for fill out the Google form and come watch whenever you can. Kovacic stuns hack sack again. But he's able to back up. Take some time. Big left from Kovacic again. Jeez. Jeez. Or fight Goonfella where it's a guaranteed. No, that's a. That's Mexican. That's Mexican. The toilet bowl happened tonight too already, so. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. Okay. Kovacic just looks better. He looks more active. Hacktech seems one. to be on vacation. Way to hide that leg kick. Another one. Another one. He gets it a single cover. This is the final fight before we head to our, our championship fights the of the night. We have three title fights coming. Two nights. DJ Khalifa. <laughs> DJ Khalifa? <laughs> <laughs> and then now Mia Khalid, no right? Those are two. Those are two real people. Round, Round one ahead. comes to an end. Kovacic very, very active, round. but hack attack <laughs> did pretty well as well. Khalid, the fuck? Should yeah, DJ Khalifa is the porn star. From being a factor here moving forward. The artist, it's DJ Khalid. <laughs> Oh shit. That's good, man. That's good. Here we are. Only round two. Round number two. I'm on crown number three. Leave me alone. <laughs> You're a professional at this point. You're a professional. And the switch kick now lands. Holy shit. Oh, and he caught the kick. Hey, four home runs tonight in the whole system. Huge. Oh, Superman. Sponsored? Yeah. I love to be sponsored by Crown. Are you kidding me? Bruising, appearing on the torso and all yeah, of that bro. courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline. I love this affiliates page on MLB, by the I mean, way. It, it shows all the box score you scores for your team's affiliates and your major league team. Following the game plan, so in one fell swoop, you can see who all hit a home run on your your entire organization, stolen bases. Oh, that body kick Pretty awesome. Good. All the box scores in one page. Oh, get it back to the big kick and it lands. Just over three minutes to go. You can see how all your team's prospects did every single day. They're highlighted. Oh, His side beautiful. Kick is just beautiful. Right there. She has a really good side kick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts. I'm sorry, this has been answered. Has the draft been done? The draft? What draft? Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say what draft are you talking round. about, sir? He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. The cap draft? Uh, I have not started recording yet. That's tomorrow. That but if it did, nice I wouldn't. That would just be on YouTube. That's that's just going to be the first YouTube video is going to be about business, setting up the team and getting all, all the caps set. Continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now you're minute and a half here. Different to try and change the way that this this round's been a little slower, but both uh, both fighters are at, are active for sure. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Shoot for the takedown here. Da, 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 da. One minute to go in round two. I wonder. Hmm. Oh, a huge block there. Actually, well, I might just be able to do the cap drop before I even start the franchise and just do it on my own. The way that he's walking. Starting to take an effect. I might be able to do it. Oh. The roster's off. Oh, the oh, the execution to land the Jeez. roundhouse. Final seconds of the Hands round. up. A less eventful round number two, but nonetheless. 
Man, one, two, three. We had four games in the, the Mariner system today. Not one double in any of the four games. A lot of tremendous not one. Striking action in that last four home runs, but not one double. And we are back to our third and that's, round. That, that's pretty fucking crazy. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Down a little bit. Really pick it up. Let's 10, see 17, 18 well, runs scored, really too, in our... Down tonight. He yeah. to connect, but not one but double. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Ooh, big, shot, big shot there. Grand Mat round three, big map. Well, he might be working towards a trit of knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. Found that has been Dead. the most significant stat Dead. in this fight. The Ooh, body yes. strikes landed for this young man. Three conquest. I mean, I've done two, and I haven't done one for like a US week and a half. So, if I were to do three, it would have been pretty. It, 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 it'd be pretty offer. simple, you know. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps it's been a wild fight thus far. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both three, three minutes left here. You expected it. You expected a close fight. A bison. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, hey, went Ross. forward, got each other's face. Arjun, the mob. Dude, you're Arjun's hitting 429 Benjamin. in single A. If you're going to go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Oh, go good uppercut there. Make him fight you. Remember Todd would do big map all year around? No, I wouldn't. Nose there. He no, is I wouldn't. I do it a little bit, not all year round, dude. Hashtag bring back Immortal Grind. I loved that Immortal Grind. So many people hated it, but I fucking loved it, bro. It was so fun. <laughs> uh, hit 300 home runs with these fuck faces. Okay. Just missed with the left there. Oh man. Oh, good right there from Kovacic. Back tacks in a little trouble here towards the end of round three. Still stunned, too. That's a long stun. Leg kicks all day. His mobility is compromised. Might get it back a little bit as the fight continues, but that's an obvious limp right now. As we approach one minute left in round number three. When he gets to the that leg of hack attack is so back. fucked up. But once you get dead leg, there's not much you can do. The immortal grind was cool if I absolutely fucked with the card. <laughs> I just blood the immortals are so awesome. Just that was before every fucking we had 999. I won 18 giveaway from Todd before I stopped playing with him, man. This will never give you a game again because you're stopping. Right. You, you can never go into anything, bro. Another kick drops him. Back attacks in a little bit of trouble here. Straight, a, a little jab there from Kovacic. And there's a late kick again. We go the full 15, but man, hack attacks right leg was just constant trouble. What a dick. <laughs> man, that leg, trouble. Trouble, trouble. From the second he walked in. Whenever he's in the stand-up. And that show tonight... As he truly Stop talking, Cormier. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 29-27, 30-26, and 29-27. For the winner, by unanimous decision. And this decision, decision, the executioner, Lucas Kovacic, gets the big win. The dominant decision. One of those rounds was 10-8. And Lukas Kovacic gets a big win over Hack Attack. Just got one right. Yeah, they didn't get yours right, bro. They didn't get yours right. 30-26, 29-28. The last round was 10-8. To Kovacic. And that is the difference of the fight. Just domination. One stun, two leg health events, three knockdowns. Hack attack through a little more, but just nothing of value. Lucas with a dominant round number three gets the big win. Not quite the co-main event yet, but it is going to be our first title fight 
of the night, and it is going to be my son, the 6-0, and the undisputed, undefeated, light heavyweight champion of the world, Peter Griffin, putting his belt on the line against the number six ranked Tug Beeb Tug Medoff. Here we go. It's because he hair, wears hoods, and dude, he does. He loves hoodies. To be, to be fair, so do I. Right, so for a long time, this man <laughs> believed that he was the number Here is Tugi. In the world. He is the Tugi24 on to Twitch. To the champion that there's a new force to be and in your hearts. He said time and time again, he thought he was the matchup. He thought he could get it done. He thought that it was to only a matter of time. Took the belt from the champ. Now he gets that opportunity. Words are only words until you put them into action. Words are only words. Put all those words into action and become the champion. He is on the verge of something huge. For a long time, people believed this was the UFC's glamour division, and this light heavyweight contender wants to bring that shine Here back. We go. Big opportunity for him tonight. I was picking for her son on Instagram, and he had a hood on indoors, and I come you, you should get whatever think you have fixed if he needs to wear a hood, and got my locks in the photo. <laughs> yeah, I do. I love wearing hoodies indoors, and uh, so does he. All right, folks, does not get a whole lot bigger than Here's the champ. UFC light heavyweight championship fight is upon us. And all also, I'm proud that you spelled everything correctly in that, in, in that paragraph, too. Hoodies indoors are fine. Oh, yeah, the hood. I don't know why he does that. The UFC's glamour oh, he's what I was complimenting you. What do you mean? Because you're not quite heavyweight. You're just right I was complimenting you, and you didn't like my compliment. That's mean. In the highest order. Rude. But it was backhanded. Bro, I'll give you something else backhanded. Don't worry. This belt was vacant. It was changing hands seemingly every other title fight. Now this man is holding it down and looking to dispose of another challenger properly tonight. The champion is in the octagon. We'll do the tail of the tape. Bruce Buffer will have the intros, and then we will get started on this five-round fight for the light heavyweight championship. Tail of the tape for this light heavyweight title fight. Just not help Peter loses his title. Yeah, it's my son, dude. He has to learn how to lose, you know? It's fine. Ladies and gentlemen, I teach him how to lose. It's okay to lose. I'll give you something else backhanded. You fucking know. You fucking know, 604. Is that an M fan? Oh, he is. Where's the little top? He's back in Oregon. He's back in Oregon. I wish I could have him all the time, but it's not the way our life is. He's got three families. It's a little tough. Is your mic still? No, it is. Peter Griffin. Yeah, see, look. Look. What's on, Mike Arm? When will we get to see a little boat? Fucking hopefully never. <laughs> what do you mean? Hopefully never? Love Pete Griff? I'm saying. 504 is my kid. Oh my god. 604, get him. Get him, bro. How dare you say something like that? <laughs> okay, both <Bo>, settle down. <laughs> oh shit. I, I, I knew that was coming. Wait, is that two people on top? I can't tell. Both these fighters are kind of similar. If Bo reproduces, I'll move to another planet. Dude, what if Bo, like, terraforms Mars and, and he reproduces there? Bo can be the first one on Mars with some lady, and they can have the very first child on Mars, and that's how Mars begins. Whew. God damn. Dominant position for him here, full mount. Dominant position, full mount. Give me beer. Oh my god, Bo. Ooh, the champ's in trouble. The champ is in trouble. 
start up, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Now he's going full mount. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he throws, Hello. who is 504? That's his, that's his clever fucking nickname for fucking 604. <laughs> Super clever, right? I'll make him open it for me too. Jesus. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's trying for the triangle from the bottom position. Peter Griffin, can he get it locked in? Nope. He's going to flip it over and take position. Oh, he's going to go to an arm bar. He's trying to go into an arm bar, but he's not going to be able to get it. Tuki is going to be able to ride his momentum up, get off his back, take away the pressure of the arm bar. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. All right, he's hanging out inside. Rolling the full guard here. You got to be careful. Ground and pound the hand. And where is Jim? Dude, we have not seen Jim, Jimmy Sweater Vest for a while. If you don't drop a power in this fight. All right, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. It's got to be on their feet, though. I don't want to do it on the ground because that's not really acceptable. That could be like in the kisser like he's talking about. Right? So. We'll wait. Oh, he's standing him up. Karma. Karma. Swing and a miss. Right to the head. Good uppercut from 2 Beeb as round one of this five round championship fight will come to a close. I tell you, 504 instead of 64 the whole time we call it 504. And you mean by the whole time, you mean like that? Is that what you mean, bro? That's the end of the round as we the show Thanks for playing that, but Richie was blind, so he couldn't tell you what to say before. <laughs> oh, shit. Second round underway. Second round underway. Fuck. That was where I'll beat the Son of Beach. Son of Beach. If I wants to ban you, I said no, keep talking shit. Yeah, true. True. He's the one holding your, your fate in your hands right now. <clears throat> Take it down from the champ. Tug met up is on his back. And Herb Dean is not fucking having it. Stand up immediately. There is a real intelligence in his approach. Why would you? Oh, I misread that. At 604, Todd wants to ban you. Oh, okay. Oh, he tried to take him down. And he got him into the guillotine, the champion. It's still kind of in, not really, though. Nope. Oh, my. It went from a guillotine to a triangle choke. Oh, my gosh. It's not clasped in. He gets out of it. Oh my gosh. It went from a guillotine into the opposite triangle choke for Tugmedov. Wow. Because I hate that, that guy, to be honest. <laughs> oh, shit. And completely repeat the Yukon Huskies. Boom. Bo. Bo. Who did you pick to win your bracket? Oh, we've got another guillotine attempt for the champion. Oh, but he rolls out. Oh, it's a, it's a, oh, it's a, oh, no, he gets out of it as well. Oh, my gosh. Fuck UNC. <laughs> Bo, who'd you pick for your champion? Are you the one that picked Purdue? Flattens him out. Yes, I did. Because Purdue's in the championship. So there's only two people that can win our bracket now. 
if UConn wins the national championship, Sammy will win our bracket. If Purdue wins on Monday and is the national champion, Bo will win the bracket. Ooh, round ends. Trying to go that rear naked choke, but the horn ends the round. I've never rooted harder against Purdue. Yeah. Oh, come on. Let me win. No. No, no, no. There's, there's three people. Actually, there's four people that have UConn pick. If UConn wins, Sammy will be first. Mex will be second. I'll be third. Bo drops to like sixth. Unfortunately, I need UConn to drop Dong all over Purdue because then someone got no revolves lost. There we go. I'll have Dragon right. That's why we don't want it. That's why we don't want it. And he switches to southpaw here yet again. Switches to southpaw yet again. Yet again. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Bo does it serve any rights? I mean, what? <laughs> Double leg and two beam takes down the champion. Another guillotine attempt. Tugbeep can't get his neck out of harm's way. And he's going to rotate it into a triangle again. If he can flip over. No, he doesn't. Tugbeep tries the flip, but the champion uses the momentum that gets the reversal. Now he's in side control. Now he's in full mount. I can't wait till I win on Monday. That was... That was pretty crazy. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. He grounded him, now he's trying to pound him. Okay. If you lose, you're downgraded to the VIP deal. <laughs> I love it. It was just last year, Purdue. Yes. Yep. But if you remember the stuff what Virginia did, Virginia lost to a 16 seat, and the very next year they won the national championship. So, apparently it's a thing. Virginia did it five years ago. I'm forever a mod. Yeah, we'll see about that. So if Purdue wins, it would be both times. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Both stories are equivalent to safety scissors. <laughs> but are they righty or lefty scissors, Rich? He stands him up. A minute and a half left in round number three. Peter Griffin with some good knees out of the clinch there. Jukebeep going for another takedown, and again for the fourth time, it goes into a guillotine. Tugbeeb cannot get this figured out, but again, he's able to get out. out of it. Maybe he needs to stop the takedowns so he stops getting choked out. I don't know. It's just me. Maybe change your game plan up just, just to tip Lou Bo dropping biddies? Bo dropping biddies? The 100 biddies? Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, buddy. Thanks for the 100 biddies. And around three, we're going to the championship rounds. You guys getting choked out? Maybe. Maybe, man. Why is it? How about bits when I was drunk? Well, you should do it more often. Ready. Wait, wait, you had bits and you could have trolled other people with the bit sounds and you didn't? And you just dropped 100? Wow, man. Wow, bro. Again, another takedown into another guillotine. Good lord, he's got to change up his strategy, though. But he gets out of it for the fifth time. What is happening here? PBR makes you buy bits. <laughs> to apply here in half Dude, if that was the case, he'd have so many bits. The guy has a choking kink. Apparently. Right, so he's got apparently. The dropping game. bombs on the champion here. Not good for Peter Griffin. Tugi. Tugi trying to put away the champion and win his first belt. He's landing so consistently. In the half guard. 
Could be also make me buy Call of Duty that I never even played. If I ever want to play any of that stuff, I'll just get it from my sister. Just give me a code for it. I ain't buying buying that shit. Youch your mind. Youch your mind. Still three minutes left in this round. Your sister's a pro god player? No. No, she isn't. That I was too drunk, I couldn't figure out the main menu. Jesus Christ. Your sister has COD codes to give out. Gets on these in her top set. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure she could. She's the executive assistant for the guy who is the CEO of marketing for Xbox. So. She's uh, pretty high up there. Again, for the sixth time, he goes into a guillotine. What is going on, dude? Two people has got to stop this shit. Craziness. That's why y'all are watching. That's why she's there. Uh, that's why she's here. Um, oh, it's, it's the flat. It's the flat. It's the flat arm bar. And Peter Griffin, the champion. Taps out to beep to Medov. The submission specialist does it again. Rolls him over onto his onto his chest. Pulls up on the arm, and that is gonna be it. Tugby Tugmetov is forced to tap out. And the champion continues to tap out his opponents. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 24 seconds of round number four. For the winner by submission, and still, the undisputed WCFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Peter Griffin. So he keeps his belt, improves to 7 0, and taps out another opponent. This time it's to Beeb Tugmedov. Round number four at 324. The judges' scorecard this was. Oh my god, the judges were all over the place. Holy shit. Judge one had Tugi 30 28. Judge two had Peter Griffin 29 28. And Judge 3 had Tugi 29-28. Tugi was winning that fight. And was most likely going to win round 4 too. Maybe. But that is how fast it happens. Peter Griffin is a submission specialist. He is 7-0. That is his fourth submission win. Improves the 7-0 and is still your light heavyweight champion of the world. Co-main event of the evening, and it is going to be the heavyweight title on the line. And it is the number one pound-for-pound pound fighter in all of the WCFC, your heavyweight title holder, William Bianchi. Putting his belt on the line against number four. Winners of his last three of four, Jimmy Sweater Vest. There we go. All right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight. I mean, a coffin, I would get this kind of There's that. It's the most. Oh, the Braves came back and beat the you know, you know, entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to waiting for some that moment. Yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. Ooh, he is being so done excited against the Astros. to try and become the man. While well, self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best. Self-belief is a powerful tonight, thing. He gets a chance to prove for Jimmy Sweater Vest. Damn, bro. 
Okay, ice machine. Fucking chill. Here's the champ. The number one pound for pound fighter in all the world. All right, folks, here we go. Undisputed UFC heavyweight championship fight. And all eyes are on the incumbent as he makes the walk here tonight. And he's enjoying every moment of it. Huge title defense beckons for him tonight. John, he loves where he stands in the sport. He loves the admiration that comes with being the baddest man on the planet. He knows he's the biggest, he's the strongest, he's the baddest, and he loves it. And he prepares as if he never wants to let that go. This man lives for being the best. This man lives to be in the spotlight. Jimmy's probably the slot machines. Maybe. I haven't seen him in stream for a while. Well, right, you lose this belt. It's essentially like walking back into your new life. He has no intention of suffering that fate. No intention of suffering the fate. All right. Tail the tape, the intros. Here we go. Even reach, even height, the 45 pound advantage. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Whoa. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting. Challenger Super. Jimmy Sweaterbest. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, William Bianchi. Our co-main event has begun. Bianchi trying to keep his number one pound for pound spot. We get set to crown a UFC heavyweight champ. Right on the button. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. He looks like Pac-Man. He's taking so many strikes to the head. Punishing kick there. Oh, how about the head movement? Slips his head off the center line and then rips back. Strike lands clean. The fighter gets to the clinch. Oh, heavy kick to the body. Just out of the range with that right hand. And now some separation. Oh, nice kick. Doing a real nice job with these leg kicks, trying to slow his opponent down, and largely succeeds. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Now he gets a more dominant position with the other one. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Oh, nice punch there in the clinch. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Nice jab. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Good jab there by the champion. Under two minutes now to go in round one. That was a big check. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side. Oh! This is big. That's big. Back to his feet. It's a big knee. Establishing the jab. Less than a minute now to go in round one. Both guys appeared to land there. Flips to avoid the right. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. That could be pretty useful.
useful when it comes to the scorecards, potentially. Very useful when it comes to the scorecards, but also a testament to his conditioning and his cardio to still be throwing takedown attempts at the end of rounds instead of winning fresh. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the knockdown. You have to Second round here. Nice jab. Big power shot there. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, it's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. Come on. Beautiful punch lands there, John. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, lands a nice straight. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, oh, he's hurt, he's hurt. Just over three minutes to go now. Able to land there with the straight left. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did everything right to secure that knockdown. Perfect setup with the hands. Got the knockdown. Let's see if he can go find the shot that's going to finish the fight. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad. He couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Oh, making this clinch work count. Lands the punch there. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what, I'm going to take one to give one. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other ones. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both... Oh! He's got to start going now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw. Oh, I am muted. That's well, stupid. I I smell the blood at this point in God, Nat. Like yeah. Ago, blood is yeah. I was muted. With every passing strike. Every strike. I and was muted. Mob, mob easy. Burns so bad. When you get cut like that, is your ad over? Famous. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not Ooh. take and limit the damage he's taking to this cut. And round two. It's over, yeah? Yeah, you, I, uh, when the Sammy Ray came over, I was asking you, or I was saying, man, is WBF here? Because this fight's next. And I couldn't get you. I tweeted at you to start on my stream, though, too. To let you know your fight was up. I tweeted everyone if they're on the card. So there's that, too. But you have already fought. I'm here for the ads. I was with my computer. I, it's okay, dude. Yeah, I... I I tweeted everyone at this like when I go live at nine Eastern. If you're on the fight card, so you can take a peek at where you are on the fight card. Uh, so I definitely think I did that too. I'll watch the VOD after your stream. I, I appreciate it. The, the YouTube of it'll be up tomorrow. I saw I won. The, you did you did win last week? Six four. I, I appreciate you being here for the ads, man. I just run about fifteen ads an hour. How about that? So, so I can make 98 cents. <laughs> oh, nice takedown defense. Now they separate. Uh, well, last week's fight for you. 
It was unanimous. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. UD, baby. UD. Clinch position. We've seen this before. Lands a beautiful leg kick. Beautiful leg kick, kind of. Barely drops Three him, though. Minutes to go. All right, hook attempt. 98 C? No what the fuck are you talking about? 98 degrees? The old band? What do you mean? Oh, 98 cents? Yeah. If I, if I run 15 minutes of ads an hour with 10 people in my stream, I'd make about a buck. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh! Drop sweater vest, though. All the, no, drops him again. Jesus Christ, Bianchi. Good Lord. Oh! Oh, my God. It's over. Are you kidding me? Gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the All of the top contenders are done. This is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. The number one pound for pound fighter, the heavyweight champion of the world, is knocked out. Salamander, I appreciate the follow. Thanks so much. The heavyweight champion has just been knocked the fuck out. Oh my god. The venerable Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 59 seconds of round number three. Holy shit. The winner by knockout. And... Undisputed. Oh my god. Heavyweight champion of the world. Jimmy Sweater Vest. Jimmy Sweater Vest. It's the biggest win of his life. Knocks out the number one pound-for-pound pound fighter and the heavyweight champion of the world on an eight-fight winning streak. Oh, my God. And he was losing that round, too. Heavily losing that round. Two knockdowns, one stun. Bianchi had was dominating that round and Jimmy threw one shot and knocked out the champion. Unbelievable. Jimmy sweater vest at five and five is your new top dog and is your heavyweight champion of the world. It is main event time for WCFC 11, and it is going to be the middleweight champion of the world, EZ the Great, defending his belt for the very first time against the number seven ranked on a streak, though. Three and five overall, Jackie Legs. So here he is, the number one UFC middleweight contender. And in this era, that's saying something, right? To get through this gauntlet and emerge out he of the legs. Fight, realize a UFC title shot. Now the world finds out what exactly this man can do with it. You know, John, as we've spoken about, it's shark infested waters trying to manage to navigate shot, oh God, through the dude. division. It's of course, I'm on top of the division. A accomplishment. For now. But to become the champion is a whole nother level. For now, level. bro. This guy feels like in his thorough preparation, the intensity at which he moves in the training room, he is more than ready to take the belt off the champion's waist. And you can be sure when the champion comes out at a moment, challenger's eyes will be fixed upon him. We got a middleweight title fight tonight, folks. Let's go. Correct, we do. Looking forward to the flyweight division. Look for that title. Hey, I appreciate that. Are you, are you somebody that filled out the form? Oh shit, I just got a new one. Oh shit, I guess that's you, homie. Is that you, the kingdom of sus? Is, is, is that you, bro? Hell yeah. Without speaking hyperbolically, I do believe Hell yeah, dude. Well, welcome. You know, when you think about middle Is it ready for you for Cumberdale? Dude, I love it. I love the fucking name. This man can 
I love the name, bro. That's dope as shit. Where did you, uh, where did you find this out about? If you don't mind, mind me asking. Yo, let's go, man. You don't want to hear that noise. Uh, let's change this then. I'll just do that for now. Recommended on YouTube. Invested. Right, Yo. Hey. Salamander, I appreciate that, man. That's re re Buffett. really awesome that this is becoming a thing on YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, this is I love it. Hey, Sniper, what's up, man? How you doing? Yo, it makes me happy. That, that makes me happy. People are seeing this shit on YouTube and then making their way over, being a part of the universe. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. So that is fucking amazing. That's so cool. Hell yeah. Challenger Jackie Legs. The champion. Eno Zone. Yo, be quiet, bro. <laughs> Defending UFC middleweight champion of the world, Easy the Great. The main event is here. Five round championship fight for the middleweight strap. We all know the boss pays the promoter to fix the match so he could win, but Bo loses anyways. To be fair, he is the lightweight champion right now. He is the lightweight champion. For now. He paid the card maker. The card maker is not me. <laughs> no bow, no bow, no bow, no bow zone. <laughs> Let bow cook. I gotta bring it back home. Got a. Hey, you gotta defend your title, Eno. You gotta defend it. You got Jackie Legs waiting for you. But yeah, man. A, a salamander. It's fucking amazing. I'm excited to have Hubert. A 604. You can't make fucking two. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> what are you? I just saw the other one pop up. You can't have two, you fuck. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? I mean, so <laughs> damn. Yo, are you the only one here? Hey. LOL. <laughs> Delete the recent. I thought we. No, no, no. We we um. It's the same universe. We just do some cards on YouTube because I don't want to live stream three or four. Cards. So, so some just get recorded off stream and uploaded to YouTube. Some are done live on Twitch and then uploaded to YouTube. Because we have 50, you know, we have to do 30 or 40 fights a week. I can't, I can't do all that on YouTube. We let him get a title match. To be fair, he was next up on the title fight. Um, and, and he just got pulled a huge upset. But he gets me next week. Presumably. I should be the next one up. Presumably should be me. I'll fucking set the world right. Don't worry. I got you, 6 of 4. Cumberdale will, will be no journeyman. He is here to sell pay per view. I love it. S sell tickets, you get your title shots. You know what I mean? <laughs> sell tickets, you get your title shots. We'll uh, we'll see how fast I can get these uh, these divisions up, Salamander. Um, I just opened featherweight, bantamweight, and flyweight this past week because we were full. The other five divisions are full, and I wanted to keep growing. So I just opened those divisions, so we got to get some more bodies in there. But with how fast this is growing on YouTube, I would imagine it shouldn't take too long. Back to their feet. Back to their feet. What division is Bose? Uh, for lightweight? Um, Bose and lightweight with me. Well, let me take a peek at... Let me take a peek at Lightweight here and see what's up. Um, it, 
it, it says there's one spot open. A activity, what's up, buddy? There you are. But let me see why I think there's one spot open. Oh, stun the champion, Jackie Legs. Um, yeah, there'll probably be a spot or two in lightweight. Uh, there's a couple fighters that we could probably move out of there. People that are inactive. There you go. There you go. So, I think I have one spot on the list right now for lightweight. Change the position. So. Yo, I'm sorry, but when is the creative player? No, Sniper, you're fine, buddy. Um, I'm going to start recording tomorrow. I, I have the roster set. So the recording for all that starts tomorrow, it'll start to be uploaded to YouTube next week. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble yep, yep. defensively. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, interesting there. Is he just a lot of recording tomorrow. Great the midweek watch. fight card is going to be recorded tomorrow. And then the MLB The Show franchise will be uh, uploaded or uh, recorded tomorrow. Too. A bunch of them. Obviously, those won't be two and a half hour long videos. Those are much, much shorter videos. Jackie Legs is stunned. Easy to great with a good left. Okay, an overhand left there from the challenger. Another takedown there from the challenger. The champion's on his back. We've already had one title change hands. Could we have two? Team IDK is hoping the answer to that is no. Yeah, what team is my... No, no. Nobody will know any of that until the first video is uploaded. The first video will be setting the caps on teams because we have like 30 of them to do. So that's going to be the first video is me creating the franchise and then getting all the caps set to the correct teams. None of that will be on Twitch. Everything for that will be on YouTube. Oh, the drama making us wait. Yep, yeah, that's going to be in the morning. It's going to be in the morning. Yeah, so those those will be like two or three videos a week, but they'll be significantly short. 20 to 40 minutes each. Wait, I won? I'm at work and just got a chance to tune in. Jimmy, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. You have to be here for your fights, man. Especially a title fight? The heavyweight championship title fight? Yeah, make sure you watch the VOD or wait to the YouTube, Jimmy, baby. <laughs> How many subs do we have to donate to find out early? Anybody who donates 100 subs can pick their team. I'm totally fucking kidding. Don't fucking do that. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, somebody new in the Discord. Don't know who it is, though. So I'm not sure what permissions to give them. Not sure what permission to give him. Right, Bro, <laughs> Jimmy, I am just fucking with you, bro. My fight happened, it did. It did, baby, it did. Bill Schmill. No, Jimmy, I'm, I'm totally fucking with you. You, you should always work. Bro. You should always work. Hey, that's you? Perfect. Okay. Let me give you the correct permission. And your name has changed, and that makes it a lot better. Both got hurt. But even when they were what hurt, just happened? One of them looked like they what just to take a happened? Back. Jimmy with the 99 biddies. Uh, character change did not happen yet. Activity. Not quite yet, buddy. Uh, that's going to be the next week or two. We're adding three new divisions. Activity. Um, so once the division, like, once I switch everyone around, people want to retire their fighters, create new fighters, stuff like that, then I'll make that change as well. I have, I have a lot to do in the next couple weeks with this league. Because we're going to, like, we're up to 65 fighters. 65, guys. Holy shit. It's insane. Very soon, we're going to be at 80 fighters. 80 fighters in this goddamn universe. It's crazy. Give him the same permissions as above. Good, that's not how you address your champion. Yeah, no hit once a week these days, so that doesn't hurt me. True. Yeah, Jimmy, huge though, man. That, that was the number one pound for pound fighter. He was 11 and 1. He, he kind of fucked you up in round three, and then you just one punch KO'd him. One punch, and he was out. Craziness. Hey, show me all the J Rod. Give me all the J Rod love here. What else? <laughs> 
Hey, but that means Bianchi's not the title holder anymore. That means more people with a chance to win the belt. Oh, good Superman punch there from Jackie Legs. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, guys, remember that when you fight, when you have a fight live on a card, I will tweet at you. So make sure you're looking at your tweets, too. That's why I asked for your Twitter. The champ is stunned. A good left. Oh, my God. Um, this is why I ask for your Twitter, because I tweet at anybody when I go live. Um, if you have a fight on the card, so you can kind of come check it out. Jackie Legs is now stunned. Now I can lose the Bianchi in the fourth round, not the second or third. Oh, you can't lose the Bianchi. <laughs> I've been on the run ever since Goon beat me with a bullshit kick to the nuts. Yeah, you, but you get your rewards, then you get the belt. You know? <laughs> oh, a big left from Jackie Legs. Drops the champion. Working on some ground and pound here. The champion is in trouble, but he rotates it, reverses it, grabs the arm. Can he get, can he get the arm bar? Can we get the submission? He's still working on it. Nope. Jackie Legs reverses it, and he is in side control now. Huge, 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 huge. Lands the ground and pound strike. Love it. Love it. 30 seconds to go until we hit the championship rounds here. Seconds to go. He's got to be careful here. Easy to great trying to defend his belt for the first time. Just won it off of Homer Simpson last week. With probably the biggest upset in the history of WCFC. And that is the third round. We will go to the championship rounds. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the fighter with a cut above his eye. It was sustained in that round. Now the cut man comes in. Jackie Legs trying to pull the improbable. Started out 0 and 5. He is now 1-3 sure eight, and is potentially two rounds away from a championship. Big right from easy. Another takedown from Jackie Legs. Another one, very huge. I wish the bottom thing here you guys see this bottom thing here? I wish this was here all the time. Yo, would you be interested in watching Roki Sasaki start? Isn't he, isn't he still in Japan? He's going to come over next year, right? That's the thought. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. He is standing over the champion like that. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Still three minutes here. Champion trying to get back to his feet. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. When you get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it. All right, finally back on their feet. The champion looks exhausted, though. He looks exhausted like he doesn't have a lot left. A left from Jackie Legs. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Takedown defense holds up. Now some separation. Under two minutes here to go round four. Two minutes left. Lands a quick jab. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. So he's really starting to Ooh, good left. Oh, a right! That'll do it! Oh. The right hand from the champion, and the belt yeah, is still his. Easy to great, not willing to let his belt go. And the big right hand in a close fight, and Jackie Legs goes night night. And the middleweight belt will stay with Team IDK and EZ the Great Eno Zone. It's the huge knockout, seemingly out of nowhere. Bruce Buffer and Dana White to make it official. All right, Bruce Buffer now inside the Octagon has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 21 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout. And still, the undisputed UFC and still, baby. middleweight champion of the world, Easy the Green. And still your middleweight champion. His first title defense, easy to great, ends of the meteoric rise of Jackie Legs with a huge right hand in round number four. Uh, it's in Sammy's Discord, I think. Uh, you look at the judges' scorecards, easy to great did have two of three rounds. Round four would have been a toss-up a little bit. But it is irrelevant. Easy to great. Gets his belt or holds his belt in the middleweight division. Lasts another week with the strap and ends WCFC 11 on a high note. Guys, if you made it through the whole video, I appreciate you making it through WCFC 11. One championship changed hands. It was a really, really fun fight card. Two number one ranked fighters also went down today. Very, very exciting. Unbelievable that the number one pound for pound fighter lost. That's like three times in a row that the top fighter has been upset, which is great for parity in this league. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notifications for YouTube. I appreciate you. Again, if you want to become a part of this universe, click on the Google Doc in the description. You can jump in. I appreciate y'all. Have a wonderful rest of your day, evening, night, whatever it is. Take it easy.